Hello from the wine cellar. Uh, we are taking a look at six new bottles for our July cellar series six pack. So once again, uh, kind of six new wines that have kind of caught our attention over the course of the last uh, last month or so, and we're excited to share them with you. 20% uh, off uh, the wines off the six pack is kind of the name of the game, so really good value. And they kind of average out about 20 to $30 per bottle before the discount. So without further ado, let's take a look. So we've got six bottles here. Um, and as we kind of move into the second part of the summer, uh, you know, it's hot out. <laughs> Uh, we are looking to be refreshed and we're looking for kind of some more vibrant styles. So uh, the first wine is coming from uh, Fabio Alessandro, one of the great, great winemakers in, in Piedmont. Um, makes awesomely uh, 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 rare and <laughs> expensive Barolo. Uh, but his Sauvignon Blanc uh, is pretty damn good too. So uh, this is not quite like Sancerre. It's not like California. You know, Sauvignon Blanc or, or New Zealand. It kind of just lives like somewhere in between. It's kind of zesty and tangy, but it it has like this extra little kind of note, a really silky texture, which um, is a really nice combination uh, uh, this time of year. You know, it's, it has a little bit more kind of serious quality to the Sauvignon. Uh, just really, really lovely stuff. You can tell the winemaker knows uh, what he's doing. Second wine, we are in the south of France um, and we are just outside of Avignon along the Rhone River. And we're in a village called Lirac. So Lirac Blanc from uh, Domaine Le Fond. So this is a blend of Grenache Blanc, uh, uh, Roussan and... Uh, and, uh, and Viognier, all organ organically farmed, um, and just like a favorite, favorite wine, you know, vintage in, vintage out, these guys just kill it, um, just lovely wine with a little more spice, a little more aromatics, just a touch more texture than the last, just kind of building here uh, in, a, in a really nice way without getting heavy, so looking at uh, a wine from California here, Stephen Ross, um, uh, made by our good friend Stephen Dooley, uh, who makes wines under this kind of combined family name label. Uh, he's in the Edna Valley, so just north of, uh, you know, kind of outside of Paso Robles between uh, Monterey and Santa Barbara. Um, but what do I like about it? Like, he just has this really, really great um, kind of light touch to the wine. You know, it's finished at 13.5%. Um, you know, it's not unoaked. You know, it's not it's not really oaked up though. It's kind of neutral barrel and just a touch of, of new oak. It's just, um, again, uh, just an achievement for uh, California Chardonnay. Like Cali Chard can be refreshing. It can be energetic. And uh, this is a great example. Under a thousand cases made, just fun stuff. So. Okay, Domaine Leblanc, we are back to the south of France, but we're in Provence now. We're in the high uh, Alpine reaches of Provence. This is a blend uh, all organically farmed again. You can kind of see there. Um, this is uh, 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 Syrah, Senso, and, uh, and Vermentino uh, blended together here in this area. So uh, not all Provencal Rosé is good or interesting, but this is, this is absolutely one of the, uh, those options, you know. And what I like about it is, again, like I kind of keep coming back to texture, but there's just a little bit more kind of going on here. There's just um, a little bit more kind of weight and, and kind of just substance and concentration there, which is really nice to see. So... Uh, up and over the Alpine uh, uh, Pass, we kind of go to the northern Piedmont area to Cascina Preziosa. Uh, this is imported through Weston Horde, you know, the, the Piedmont guy, a good friend of our shop who kind of just kills it when it comes to importing unique uh, wines based off of uh, Nebbiolo and Barbera, and that's exactly what this is. Um, it is not a heavy, a tannic, you know, beast of a wine. Um, it is kind of soft and elegant and tense at the same time, uh, chill it down and like uh, watch it kind of just drink itself. It's a pretty fun little wine. But last but not least, uh, kind of a favorite winemaker from California again, uh, Angela Osborne, who makes wines kind of more famously under the uh, A Tribute to Grace label and kind of her work with Grenache. But this is her Merlot from Happy Canyon. So just outside of, set, outside of Santa Barbara. And like, uh, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> you. You don't like Merlot, uh, but you know, give it a, another chance. Give it a tenth chance here. Um, you will find one that you like, and, and I hope this is it. Uh, there's just a touch more acidity to it. You know, there are some tannins to it that kind of keep it all kind of wrapped up nice and tight. Um, it's a really, really lovely wine from uh, from one of California's I feel like great, great winemakers. So uh, that is it. It's about 130 bucks for all six bottles, 20% off. I think it's a hell of a deal as the weather kind of heats up.
Hope to see you in the shop. Thank you.